pretty brutal. We're now completely in the clouds. Everything's white. You really can't see very much in front of you. It's very eerie, and that is... Well, that's everything I can see. Columbia hired two people to test gear in the most extreme conditions on Earth. These are those people. The Directors of Toughness. Faith and I are here in Anchorage, Alaska. We had an amazing day yesterday where we managed to get out and explore a little bit of the area. We're now waiting to board a flight to Russia on an airline that I've never heard of. We are about to open our gut mail to find out exactly whereabouts in Russia we're going. Faith and Mark, on your last test, you successfully climbed Mount Shasta, a dormant volcano in the Pacific Ring of Fire. Climbing a dormant volcano was clearly too easy. So I'm sending you to the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia to climb an active volcano. What do you think active means? Like lava spewing? Yeah, I think, it, I, I think it definitely means it could be warmer than Shasta, which is good. Let's do this. I just got picked up from the airport and this is our first look at Russia before we head out and try and climb a volcano tomorrow. It's kind of industrial looking but also kind of pretty. That's pretty sweet. The Kamchatka Peninsula juts into the Pacific Ocean from the south of Siberia. It's roughly the landmass of Oregon but with just over 300,000 inhabitants. It is one of the highest density of brown bears and hosts the greatest diversity of salmon and species on Earth. Kamchatka itself was actually closed until the early 90s, even to Russian civilians. That was due to the fact that it was mainly a military base. Now, driving around here, there doesn't seem to be much of a military presence. It seems to be quite a sleepy and very friendly area. It's really cool that we got a little bit of time to just see what everyday life is like in an urban environment, because after this, we'll be really out in the wilderness. We're going to be meeting Victor, who's going to be our guide for the next couple of days while we're here in Kamchatka. Yeah, Victor's gonna be taking us up one of these famous volcanoes. Hopefully it does not erupt. Well, they're famous because they erupt. They erupt. They're all active and they erupt. So let's go down and meet, uh, meet Victor and find out some more. Hi guys, I'm Victor. I'm a local mountain guy from Kamchatka. We're gonna climb the Avachinsky volcano. That's 2,740 meters tall. It's active. Kamchatka is a part of the Ring of Fire. We have 30 active volcanoes on the peninsula. We didn't have long to explore the town before we had to hop on the truck, but this thing with six wheels that looked like the biggest lorry I'd ever seen showed up, and on top it just had this little cabin. The plan is that this truck is going to take Victor, Faith and myself as far towards this volcano as possible. Kamchatka's had terrible weather recently and the roads have been washed out. We were trying to drive two hours on this road. We think it's going to take us longer. Because of all the volcanic residue, the roads have like ash and dirt and rocks and everything. So I guess they get some pretty major mudslides, um, partially because it's not that solid. Faith and I, along with our guide Victor, are on our way now uh, towards the hut. Probably got about an hour and a half to hike there where we'll spend the night and then in the morning we'll be heading up there. Just arrived at our hut for the night. It's pretty cozy. That'll be that'll be Faith, that'll be me. I'm pumped. This is a cool yeah? hut. It's my first mountain hut experience. We're here tonight enjoying hot life, which is pretty awesome. Got a nice fire going. Yeah, after a bit of a rest, I think we'll be, be solid and good to go tomorrow. It is the morning of our volcano hike. We've got 6,000 feet to hit today. Yeah, let's do it. pretty windy. We've probably been hiking for about an hour and we're about to get up into the clouds where we can't see anything. So far so good. The views are absolutely incredible. It's pretty cool to see it. Like I had absolutely no idea that there are places in Russia that look like this. Well, we knew it was 
coming. We're now completely in the uh, in the clouds. Just this ridge line to follow, and nothing else. The current is anything else at all. It's so wet in the clouds. It's so windy. It's actually so pretty cold now, right? So yeah, this is uh, a bit different to what we were expecting, but uh, a lot of fun. Really can't see very much in front of you. Yeah, it's very eerie, and that is. Well, that's everything I can see. We just got a sudden unexpected burst of sunshine, so it might clear up as we head up to the top. It's different to be walking on like volcanic rock and everything, but this feels a little otherworldly. Seems like we made it just above the clouds and, uh, and up here. Yeah, it's absolutely glorious. This has become pretty brutal. You know, as we said, it's been super rainy before we got here, so just like that road was washed out, the trails on the volcano are washed out, so we're kind of like making our own trail through this scree and sand and kind of backsliding every step. Last mountain summit as director of toughness, so might as well tough it out and, and make it up there. If there's one terrain that I hate, it's scree, and this has been a long slog on exactly that. We're about two and a half thousand meters uh, up the volcano right now. Just as soon as we got up here, you can actually see the mountain. Is, is still smoking. There are steam vents coming out of the side of the hill, so this volcano is alive. So we made it to the top of Avachinsky, and this place is wild. This thing is active, really active. There's a huge crater uh, just in the middle here that you can see into all of this smoke is not is not cloud this all this smoke here is coming from the middle of the volcano so yeah this is one of the craziest places i've ever been in my life climbing mount shasta and now climbing avachinsky two volcanoes both in the ring of fire this has been an awesome experience our first few days in russia have been pretty epic so far i'm really excited to get down there now and looking around at this landscape it's so vast, it's huge. I'm really excited to get lost in the wilderness. Awesome time up here on the summit, getting ready to head back down and meet our helicopter for our next adventure. Thanks so much for hanging out with us here in Kamchatka. To see what we're wearing on the volcano, click here. If you missed part one, click here to see us climbing Mount Shasta in North California. We have one last trip left as the directors of toughness for Columbia Sportswear hit the subscribe button to follow along.